Hello everybody, coming here today to talk to you a little bit about some of our men's shaving products. These are a great, great gift for the holidays. It's a great gift for a birthday, anniversary, really any men's gift. Men are a little hard to buy for, so this is a really good opportunity for that. And if this is a guy out there looking to purchase this gift for yourself, hey, that's okay too, because uh, you need to pamper and take care of yourself every now and then. So we're gonna talk about our shaving system that we recommend here at Bow Weevil Soap Company. I'm gonna take you through just a minute and show you each of the parts of this kit. And then we're gonna head over to the sink and we're actually gonna show you how to do this. So this is kind of the old fashioned way to shave. This is the way grandpa did it years ago um, before all the, the craziness and the, the American shave industry took place. So first of all, let me tell you a couple of things that you're not gonna see here. You're not gonna see anything come out of an aerosol can um, because that's just not the way to go. I don't, I don't know if you figured this out on your own, but when you spray something out of an aerosol can and it does this on its own, it's probably not a natural product. Um, what we're also not gonna show you here is a blade that is a multi-blade system, but we're gonna talk about why we don't recommend that. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and uh, move on to our products. So the first thing we're gonna talk about that's probably critical to our shave kit here is a shave bar. It's gonna be hard to shave without a shave bar. So our shave bars look like this. Um, and they're a great little resource. This is made out of goat milk. So one of the advantages of this shave bar is that it is going to go, um, it, it's gonna cleanse your face. So whereas you take a typical aerosol shave, uh, shave um, shaving cream, um, it's not cleaning your face. All it's doing is lubricating your face. Um, so we do want to lubricate the face, but we do not want to, but, but we want to do that naturally. So we want to do that with soap. The other fringe benefit to this is that cleaning your face is kind of important. So if you ever have uh, dealt with a teenage boy who goes to take a shower and comes out and doesn't wash his face and then wonders why he's got an acne outbreak. So we're obviously not going to make any health claims here but washing your face multiple times a day is great for anyone including teenage boys because the things that help you make acne are um, your clogged pores your dirt uh, and oil and if you don't have those things there it's hard to do that so always a great benefit to go ahead and get that face clean so the first part of the shave kit that we normally use is our shave bar and they do come in every fragrance that we carry Normally, a shave bar of this sort will last most men at least six months, if not longer. And sometimes that's significantly longer, especially if you don't shave every day. The other thing you're gonna get is your shave oil. Your shave oil, we're gonna show you how to use that in a minute, but the purpose of a shave oil is not to moisturize your face. It is a lubrication. It's just like lubricating the parts of your car. So the reason we're doing that is so that that blade has a gentle surface to slide upon so that you don't have any friction. That friction is what causes a uh, razor burn. It's what causes those bumps. And it also causes you to get cut. So you need to keep that smooth shave there. That is a protectant. Um, so a lot of people tell me, oh, Chad, I don't want to use an oil. I'm already oily enough. And that's true. Guys are typically oily by nature just because of testosterone. Oil is a natural, um, oil is a natural byproduct of, of testosterone, so that happens in guys. So we're not endorsing this for a moisture moisture purpose. We're doing this for the purpose of protect that protectant. So I do encourage you to use the oil. It's going to reduce the chance for you to get cut. Um, and if you've gone out on our YouTube channel and watched the video that we did on how soap works, you'll understand why this is not gonna leave you oily. Soap naturally repels oil, and therefore that's not gonna leave you oily. That soap, when you put that on afterward, is gonna naturally pull that back off. So you've got your first two components. These are the replaceable items within our normal shave kit. So you, those are the things you're gonna have to replace. Now let's talk about the things that you're gonna have long-term. So these are heirloom type items. So first of all, you have your shave brush. Your shave brush is an excellent shave brush here. Uh, this one is produced by Parker, uh, which is a great name brand and, and shaving products. Um, and it's a great brush. This is a synthetic brush. Uh, we don't carry a boar's hair brush. Boars are not that cuddly of an animal. 
and I just prefer this brush. It does not, um, you do not leave, uh, you, don't, you don't get hairs falling out of the brush when you go to use it, and it just feels much smoother to the face. So this is, this is what we prefer. So you've got your shade brush, you've got your bowl, and I've got two different kinds of bowls. This is a bowl, this bowl's a little messy here, but this bowl is a wooden bowl. And then we also have the pottery bowl. Now the pottery bowls that we carry are made by a vendor up in uh, l and Pottery in Talladega, Alabama. They make these for us. So these are hand thrown on the wheel. They're all just a little bit different and they have the lid. Now, when it comes down to actually shaving, whether you use the pottery bowl or whether you use the uh, wooden bowl really doesn't matter. Or maybe you have grandpa's old shave bowl and our shave cup around and that works too. Um, so these are all great parts to work on. So what we recommend for actual shaving is a safety razor. And I'm gonna show you the one that we carry and then I'm also gonna tell you why we choose to carry that particular razor. So this is your standard safety razor here. The safety razor that we carry is twistable, but you take this and turn it, and as you turn it, it's gonna convertible up. So that's a really, so when you open that up, you'll notice there is no blade inside of this. And then when you put the blade in, it's gonna convertible back down with a twist. Now this particular razor um, is only the one piece. There is also the razor that has the piece on the top. We don't, I don't love those kind of razors because every time I personally have tried to use those, the, the nut on the top falls off and then I need, end up in the bathroom floor trying to, to find it and put it back on the top. So um, we don't wanna do that. So this one uh, comes up in one piece and it's, it's very stable. This is a very heavy razor blade. Honestly, this is the last razor should, you should ever have to buy. This should last you forever. If you purchase this for Father's Day or Christmas or a birthday, the person you're giving it to ought to be able to pass this down as an heirloom item to a grandchild um, because it's that stable. Now, it comes with standard safety blades. And when you do purchase your razor from us, it comes with a pack of 100 blades. So this is what the blades look like, just like you used to find in grandpa's cabinet, okay? So when you use that, you're gonna pull out the pack of five. There'll be 20 of these packs in the razor. You take that and you're just gonna use your thumb and you're gonna pop that loose. And one razor is gonna come out of the top, okay? So this is one full razor blade. We're gonna go ahead and open that up for you right here. And this is what the razor looks like. Now you need to be very careful if you've got small kids in the house, this doesn't need to be the one that they try to pretend to shave with. This is very sharp but you're gonna take that and you're gonna drop it down on the blade just like this, and then you're gonna twist it closed, okay? Now that razor is loaded and ready, all right? Now when, I typically will use my blade for about a week, um, and then I'll get rid of that. I'll use both sides of the blade. Both sides are very usable. When you go to get rid of your blade, just simply twist back up this direction, lift the blade out carefully, and then take your container, and you're gonna slip that into the bottom of the packet. So now when you throw this into the garbage can, no one cuts their leg off. So this is a really great way to handle that. And then you can reload a new, new razor and then close that back up. One of the reasons that we prefer for you to use the um, safety razor is because it is a single blade. So one of the, first of all, I have kind of a moral objection to spending $15 on three razor blades at your local big box store. Um, that's just crazy. Uh, that, that's a crazy price. These have 100 blades uh, with the packet, um, and then we typically sell um, 100 blades for a, a very minimal cost. Um, and you can find that, that cost updated on our website in our men's section. Uh, but when you go to use this, uh, people always say, Am I gonna cut myself with this? Well, it's possible to cut yourself with any razor. However, when you take this, you're gonna have your oil on first, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. You're gonna cover this with your lather over the top, and then you're gonna to start to shave. It's very important because of the way men's facial hair shaves uh, and the way it grows, you're gonna take your razor and you're going to pull down on the face. You're gonna go up on the chin. So down on the face, up on the chin, and that's gonna help keep you from getting cut. But the other reason we wanna use single blade, other than the fact that I'm too cheap to pay for a multi-blade razor, 
is the fact that multi-blade razors are really not necessarily that great of an improvement. I guess that's an opinion based off of those that are out there, but I don't believe that that's a big improvement on what we have. I think this was a case where granddad and great granddad had this right all along because when you're using a multi-blade razor, the first couple of blades are pushing down that, the hair on the face and the blade, the, the secondary blades are cutting actually below the surface of the skin. So when they're doing that, what that's doing is creating you a, a environment where ingrown hairs are gonna thrive. So if you cha are challenged with ingrown hairs, it could be your safety, it could be your, your razor blade that's at fault. So th there's a lot of reasons why a good old fashioned safety razor is a great, great option. All right, so let's talk about how this is actually gonna work. We're over here at the sink. So the first thing we need to start with is a really hot towel. So you can do this with a with a with just a regular bath towel in your house. So get that water really hot. You can see that steam going there. And you're gonna wanna put that directly onto the face. And what you're doing here, other than starting that cleaning process, is you're really preparing the face to be able to uh, let those hairs come on out and get ready for the shave. So the first step is a good hot towel. So the th second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use our shaving oil. So I've got our shaving oil here. Our shaving oil does double as a tattoo oil or just regular moisturizer. Um, and it can also be a beard oil depending on how it's used. But in today's world, what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray this straight on the face. Now normally I'll do this in my own bathroom at home without my shirt on, but we don't need to see all that. So I'm gonna spray that on directly and I'm gonna allow that to get kind of drippy because again, we're just simply trying to moisturize the face. So I'm just gonna spray that on just like this and get that pretty heavy on the face. All right, so now that we have the face oiled up and lubricated, ready to go. Now when you're doing that, don't rub in the oil because we don't wanna push that into the face. We wanna keep that on the surface. We're gonna take our brush here. We're going to put a little bit of water on that brush. Again, super hot water. Um, and then you're gonna create your own lather. So see how that lather's building up there on the bowl? And then we're gonna take that and we're gonna start painting that directly onto the face. We're gonna go all over here and get a nice lather all over that oil. That's going to help to increase that lubrication. It's also gonna be cleaning the face. Also, because this is goat milk, it's also helping to exfoliate the face and open up those pores. We're getting a deep clean here. And I also recommend that you use your bowl and brush without the razor and without the oil, even on days you're not gonna shave, because again, it's creating that deep clean. All right, so now that you're lathered up, you're oiled, you're lubricated, you're gonna take your safety razor and you're gonna start working your way down at about a 35 to 40 degree angle and you're gonna start working on the face. You're gonna go down on your face and you're gonna go up on your neck. Be very careful around the places where you have curves and uh, just take it really nice and slow. And it probably would help if you weren't talking when you try to do it. All right, so we've got our nice fresh shave ready to go, ready to make it a day. Again, don't get caught up on how often you shave during the week. I encourage you to use the system every day. Uh, just on the days you don't have the razor involved, just take out the oil and the blade. Uh, obviously, you, you don't need to use the razor there either. Um, and that'll really help uh, keeping your face nice and clean. Um, and you'll really feel a difference in the way your face feels over time uh, because of the goat milk and the, the, the blade there. Now, um, with that being said, if you continue to have ingrown hairs and challenges, um, or you happen to cut yourself somewhere, I'm prone to get cut around my Adam's apple sometimes. Um, that's because everybody's face is a little bit different. So maybe you've got a different angle to the way your hair grows on your face. So feel free to adjust a little bit and you'll have to kind of learn on your own there. Uh, but everybody is a little bit different. So you may have to make some minor adjustments. The other piece is when it comes to body shaving, there's a lot of folks that do a lot with body shaving. Um, most people say that when you're doing body shaving, uh, using a sugar scrub first is a really big win. Also, instead of using this, most body shaving is gonna take place in the shower. So um, shower souffle is a really good choice. We have this in the men's and women's fragrances. This is super thick. It's kind of like a, a, a thick um, shave lotion. People ask me, can you use this on your face? You could, but it probably would be a little oilier than you would want it to be. If you were to use shower souffle instead of the, 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 the uh, bar, 
uh, on your face, you would probably want to use this first and then use your bar second just to help get the face back uh, not oily because again, we don't want to oil up the face, but you would use this as, as part of that body shaving um, and then use your razor and can use it wherever you need to do that. All right, so that is our men's shaving system. So whether you choose to do just the safety razor or the uh, shaving kit and the bowl and the brush, or there's an ultimate shaving kit available on our website that contains everything, uh, whichever you choose, we hope you really enjoy it. If you have any questions, feel free to message us. Uh, you can always purchase these products available on our website at www.bowweevilsoapcompany.com. Just to make the attorneys happy, we want to remind you that we're not making any medical claims here. Uh, so any of those that are perceived was just simply in your head. So y'all have a great day. Thanks for coming, th for watching our video, and uh, we'll see you next time.